What is going on, people? I am back for another review for you guys today. That's two. You guys are so lucky. But let me get into it. If you couldn't tell by the title, it is of Blood Sucking Bastards. Yes, Blood Sucking Bastards. Uh, it's written by Dr. God. Yes, Dr. God and Ryan Mitz. It's directed by Brian James O'Connell. It stars Fran Kranz who plays Evan, uh, Pedro Pascal, who plays the guy Max, who's pretty much his arch rival, uh, Joey Kern, who plays his best friend Tim, uh, Emma Fitzpatrick, who plays his ex-girlfriend uh, Amanda, and many, many more. Pretty much what this is, it's a horror comedy. Uh, kind of reminds me of like, well, it actually says it right on the back, it's almost like a office space meets... Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Um, pretty much what it is, is the guy Evan works at a company, is one of those people that, you know, really puts his heart into it and everything. He's like a model employee. Um, he thinks he's up for this promotion and, uh, he's all happy for it. He's trying to get all his, you know, the people under him technically. He's, you know, pretty much the boss already, but he can get this promotion and everything to sales manager. And, uh... The guy above him pretty much gives the job to his arch rival Max, and uh, you know he's he's pretty pissed about it and everything. And all of a sudden, in the office, stuff starts happening. Like people start acting different. Um, he ends up at one point running into um, the bathroom and finding a coworker dead. He goes, runs, tells everybody, he comes back in, and the co-worker is nowhere to be seen. So strange things start happening in this office. Uh, meanwhile, as this is going on, he needs uh, to get this report ready for a meeting that they're having on a Friday. And he's trying to get the love of his life back that he kind of screwed up in uh, Amanda. And... Throughout the movie, you know, it, it is a horror comedy, so you get a whole bunch of laughs in it. Um, and again, you start seeing people disappear, come back a little bit different, or some people just straight up disappeared. Towards the end of the movie, you find out what is going on. Little spoiler, I guess, even though, I mean, you probably could tell by the title. The office is now taken over by vampires. Um... Yes, vampire. So pretty much at the end of the movie, it's Evan, his buddy Tim, and his girlfriend trying to take down this now coal office of vampires. Let me say it's very funny. There's parts that had me... Usually, I'm not the like laughing out loud kind of person, but there were definitely parts that you know got me to actually laugh out loud. Like, I was... I... I was laughing out loud. Uh, also, at looking at the back cover and everything, it looked like it was very bloody. And for the first, you know, half of it, I was like, where is this coming? A lot of, you know, the scenes were, like, cut. Like, someone would get attacked, but you wouldn't see them get attacked. They'd kind of just get pulled away. And then I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. Where is this blood coming in? Let me just say the last, you know, 15 minutes definitely made up for that. But throughout the movie, you know... The, the comedy kept it going. You know, just the interaction between the characters were definitely funny. Um, it was definitely one for, you know, the books. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I added it to um, my collection. Uh, it Again, it brings the, you know, office space humor kind of deal and mixes it with not per se Shaun of the Dead with zombies, but, you know, it's kind of like, kind of like that, um, you know, horror comedy bringing in vampires instead of zombies. I'd say definitely go ahead if you're into horror comedies, if you're into uh, vampire movies, if you're into comedies as well, definitely check out Blood Sucking... Uh, I was about to say vampires. Blood Sucking Bastards. I'll leave the link for it in the description box. Again, you uh, you can get it probably through Shop Factory, Scream Factory line. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon, so I'll leave the link to the Amazon um, well, the link to Amazon on the bottom. Definitely go ahead, check this out if you haven't. It's definitely one you should 
check out sooner than later. So again, hopefully you enjoy my reviews. Definitely go ahead if you haven't already, subscribe, like this video, and if you want to, share it with your friends. Let them know about not only this movie, but let them know about Tony Has Nine Fingers. Again, I do have an Instagram where I show off all these Blu-rays and, and, and movies that I have in my collection. So go ahead, check that out. It'll All the information will be in the, uh, again, description box. I guess description box is what you call it. But check that out. If there's a movie there that you want to see reviewed, uh, let me know either through Instagram or YouTube, and I'll go ahead and do it for you. So I guess until next time, I don't know if there's going to be another one. Probably not tonight. But uh, until next time, I'll see you guys.